me to pay off the tax bill. Jimmy could never sell Tabitha. <laughs> well, when it comes right down to it, I suppose I couldn't part with you either. No? No, you couldn't. As for selling me, who'd want me? A dried up old witch who's lost her powers. Oh, if I had my powers now, I'd... I'd cause a glitch in the taxman's computer and I'd be off the tax rolls forever. Poor Chavi. Yes, as it is, I'm... I'm about to lose my house, the one and only thing I own. We'll have to go and live in the graveyard, Timmy. The graveyard? No way! Now I went to have thing on gold mine. Now, don't start that again, Timmy. Timmy knows Tabitha doesn't want to sell her memoirs, but Tabby has no choice. The store won't let Timmy and Tabby buy the ingredients from our Timmy's on credit. Princess has to sell her memoirs. I said no. Glenn, I, I, I didn't expect to see you here. Ethan, I didn't expect to see you either. I mean, I thought you had a date with Teresa. A date with Teresa? Yes, Ethan has decided to date both me and Teresa until he decides which one of us he wants to be with. And you're okay with that? I love him, and if this is what he needs to do to be happy, then I just have to accept it. Anyway, where is Teresa? Well, um, she had a bad headache, and then Robert showed up with the tickets. So here I am. Oh, well, I, I hope she's doing okay. Are you sure? Or did you set this up? So, what do you say? Can you come over and watch the game with us? I'm not doing anything. So sure, why not? I'll be right over. Chad. Trissa, what are you doing? Did you just invite Chad over here? Oh, yeah, well, I mean, why not? He knows all about college basketball, and I thought he could explain the game to us. Please. You're just trying to play matchmaker between him and me. Well, Whitney, somebody has to. You know, I really wish you would stop Please, doing these things. Please, don't be mad. Besides, I'm serious about wanting to learn how to play. Why? Because I have to compete with him in something. And I can't compete in, in horseback riding or sailing, but I might be able to show Ethan that I'm an expert at watching basketball. I don't think Ethan cares whether you know anything about basketball, Teresa. No, he cares. I could tell how important it was when his friend came over with, with the two tickets. I mean, that's why I pretended to have a headache, so that he could go to the game and watch his college team play. Well, I mean, you could have asked one of your brothers, or Reese, you know? Why chat of all people? Why are you so upset that he's coming over? I just don't want to be around him, okay? Something happened last night, didn't it? What was it? I told you I'd kill Sheridan. Are you there? Hello again. Did you hear what I said? No. I'm no longer interested in what you have to say. You're all talk, no action. Time is running out. I said I'd do it, didn't I? You've been saying so for days. I want the job done now, tonight. Roger is tired of waiting. Kill her tonight or your brother will receive your dossier and you will be arrested by tomorrow morning. Yeah, but what about Luis? I mean, he's been guarding her night and day. Then eliminate the problem. Kill them both. This is gonna be one date I will never forget. Mm, well, I hope you enjoyed it. Oh, I loved everything. The dinner, the champagne, the gypsy violin, and the Russian dancers. <laughs> <laughs> they were something else, weren't they? Amazing. This whole night has been amazing. You're amazing. And this night has just begun. I would hold the hand of the one who could leave me places And kiss the lips of the one who could sing so
you doing with my memoirs? From what you told Timmy, this will be the hottest book to hit the bookshelves since Harry Potter. Yes, well, there's no doubt that it would be a bestseller and it would bring in enough money to pay off the tax man and buy you enough more Timmy supplies for the rest of your life. Including the little umbrellas? Oh, yes, including the little umbrellas. <laughs> We'd be rolling in dough. <laughs> Quick! Call the publisher! Call them now! No, Timmy. I told you it's too dangerous. If my memoirs were to be published, it would cause an explosion in this town. Why, Tabitha? Because I know where all the skeletons are buried. And if I were to expose them, the goody-goodies in this town would attack me just as they did 300 years ago. And now I don't have my powers to protect myself. No, I'm... I'm just going to have to bide my time until I get my revenge on the good people of Harmony. Princess! I'm sorry, Timmy. But it's just too risky. No one must see my memoirs. Not ever. Timmy's definitely not living in a graveyard. Wait a minute, I've just had a thought. Maybe there's another possible way out of our predicament. Ethan, how could you even say such a thing? I had no idea you were coming here. No, Gwen and I were having dinner at the club and my father called and said he couldn't use his tickets. So yeah. he gave them to us. And it's not that often our alma mater comes to Harmony. I really wanted to see the game. Yeah, the Jupiters are going to slam Harmony yeah, too. Yeah, 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 go Jupiters. <laughs> Ethan, I'm glad the girls are here. It's just like old times. Oh, it is, isn't it? Oh, those were yeah. such wonderful times. It'll be even more like old times if Shannon and I get to sit together, huh? Come on, you wouldn't mind, would you? No, not at all. Okay. <laughs> Good job, Robert. Ethan and Gwen together again, just like old times? Don't thank me. It was Gwen's mother who gave me the tickets for dinner. Well, I'm glad. Now we have to remind Ethan that Gwen's the only woman he's ever loved. Isn't this fun? I was laying there with Chad's head in my lap, and he was totally out of it. I didn't know whether he was going to live or die, Teresa. But, um... I did get a little carried away. Um, I kissed him. <sighs> you kissed him? You thought he was going to die, so you let your true feelings come out and you kissed him? No, no, no. You're crazy about him, aren't you? No, no. I could never be crazy about someone like Chad, okay? What do you mean, Whitney? Why not? Look, I just don't even want to get into it right now. I can't, I can't be around him, okay? I'm just going to go. No, stay, please. No, no. I'm sorry, Teresa. I gotta go. There's no way I'll kill Luis, okay? I said I'd kill Sheridan, but Luis is not part of the deal. If he stands in the way of your killing Sheridan, you have no choice. No! All right? Luis is my best friend. And it doesn't matter to you that at this moment your friend is making love to the woman you love? In France, that friend would be a dead man. Well, we're not in France. No, quite obviously. In my country, we understand crimes of passion. Where is your passion? Are you willing to sacrifice your future for a woman who does not love you? Or for a friend who has betrayed you? Look, Sharon's very rich. And it would have solved a lot of my problems if we would have gotten together. But if I have to choose between saving her skin or mine, I choose mine. So Sheridan's not a problem. But Luis is. Hank, that's the man I want to talk to. Agent Freeman, uh, you, want, you want to talk to me? Yes. It's about Sheridan Crane. That's a 
song we heard in the car on our way to the mine shaft. That's right. But we decided to put the past behind us. Our song. going, are you? Um, well, yeah, actually I am. Any particular reason? I'm just, you know, not really into college basketball, that's all. I'll be talking to you. Oh, wait, now, it looks to me like you guys are all set and ready to watch the game. Whitney, look, if you still ain't quite ready to hang with me, then I can go. Well, it's not, I mean, I'm ready. Sure, yeah, I'll stay. Hey, Chad. Hey, what's up, Teresa? I really need your help to, to help me understand the game, and it's almost time for it to start. All right, as long as what you don't mind. So, Ethan is at the game, and I want to be able to talk to him about it later. No, wait a minute. I thought you and Ethan had a date tonight, so how come he's at the game? Well, his friend came by with tickets, and... I I could see how anxious Ethan was to go, so I pretended to have a headache. Teresa, you know what your problem is? You're too nice. I mean, if you want something as bad as Ethan, you gotta be ready to take out the knives, you know what I'm saying? But Chad, I love Ethan, and I want him to be happy. Besides, he went to the game with his friend Robert, not Gwen. Look, I know how much you wanted to be with Ethan tonight, okay? I did. But when you're in love, Sometimes you don't mind making the sacrifices. Yeah, like I said, you're too nice. Now come on, everyone. The game is going to start. Hey, wouldn't it be fun if you saw Ethan on TV? <clears throat> oh, the game's about to start. You know, I think I'm going to call Teresa before the game starts. See how she's doing. You know, Ethan, I, I wouldn't do that. I mean, I know that the last thing I want to hear when I have a headache is a ringing phone. Well, you're right, but uh, Whitney's there with her, so I'll ask her how she's doing. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. There's no cell phones allowed in the arena. Okay. Well, um, maybe I'll see if I can find a payphone. Hey, Ethan, isn't that our old frat buddy Boomer over there? Yeah, yeah, it is. Hey, hey, Boomer! Hey, Boomer! How's it going? Meet us down here. We're gonna go see Boomer. Yeah, come on. Oh, there is no way I'm gonna even let him think about Teresa. The moving company will be here in a few minutes, and they'll take all these things to the antique dealer. If Tabitha is sure she'll have to get rid of all this stuff, she's been collecting all these things for hundreds of years. Would you rather live in the graveyard? No! <sighs> What's wrong, Tabitha? I didn't think it would be this hard to part with all these things. But each and every piece brings back some memory. This shawl. I wore this shawl when I was almost burned at the stake. It still smells like smoke. Yes. Just looking at it revives my determination to get my revenge on those holier-than-thou harmony hypocrites oh, and this baby rattle <laughs> Hickabo and I used to hit each other over the head with our baby rattles Jimmy <laughs> cannot picture that old witch of a baby oh, well she was an evil little thing but we can't live in the past can we Tim Tim 
and I really have no choice but to sell all my possessions. Poor Tabby. Mm. Say la vie, Timmy. Say la vie. Little bit of movers. Um, so, so what's happening, Agent Freeman? Oh, it's good news. According to Interpol, there's been no activity at all from the drug cartel in months. So the Bureau is calling off Miss Grain's protection. Yeah, that is good news. It's just one thing. The case cannot be officially closed until Luis goes to Washington to make his final report. And that's why I need to talk to you. Um, what can I do for you? Well, you are Miss Crane's secondary bodyguard. I need you to fill in until Luis gets back from Washington. But if she's not in any danger... We then... still need to follow bureaucratic procedures. I want you to fill in starting tonight. Tonight? Okay, um... You can count them. And you're crying, what's wrong? Nothing's wrong. That's why I'm crying. So much of my life has been wrong. This feels so right. It is right. I'm sorry it took me so long to let this happen. I was so afraid to feel something for a man. I know it's where I belong. But now that we're together, I'm, I'm never going to let anything come between us again. I right, see so here the coach of the losing team is calling a timeout. That's to slow down the Jupiter's game. Uh, but that's not fair. Yeah, well, all is fair in love and war and basketball. I mean, you gotta play hard and mean if you wanna win. Yeah, and you know all about playing hard and mean, don't you, Chad? I was just talking about the game with me. Not about how you think I live my life. And we have a lot of celebrities in the crowd tonight. There's the governor and his lovely wife. And there's Ethan Crane. <laughs> Yeah. I love you, Ethan. He's pretty good on the screen, don't he? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Telva, you don't have to sell all your things. Timmy has another way to make money. I told you, Timmy. I will not publish my memoirs. No, no. Timmy will write a book. You what? You remember when Timmy and Tabitha were in Hecuba's cave? Hecuba showed Timmy his future. He was the best-selling author. Timmy can write a book, and he and his princess will be millionaires. Timmy, you're delusional. You can't write a book. You're a doll. Chapter one. Timmy's created. Now listen. Just stop this at once. I told you, you can't trust Hecuba. She only promised you a successful future so she could wreck my life. But... Timmy really wants to meet those beautiful babes. Oh, forget it. It'll never happen. Just get Hecuba's promises out of your mind. Now I've got to get over to the antique store. Timmy, Timmy, who is it? Hecuba. He Hecuba, what do you want? You. You're in trouble! 
Tabitha was wrong. I'm here to help you, Timmy. I knew we could count on you, Hank. Look, I'm heading over to Miss Crane's right now to give Luis the news. Okay. Um, well, I'll meet you over there because I got to make a few calls and cancel some plans from tonight. Okay, fine. I'll see you at the Crane Estate. Okay. Did you hear? I heard. It's the perfect setup. You can kill Sheridan when Luis goes. No one will suspect you since they put you in charge. A good excuse for not protecting her. I'm sure you'll think of something clever. The most important thing is to do the job as quickly as possible. I'll take care of it. I want to be there to see it happen. Is that how you get your kicks? The drug cartel has to be absolutely certain that Sheridan is dead. That she can't identify Roger or me. What's wrong? You look as if you're going to be sick. I just hope Sheridan doesn't look me in the eye when I have to pull the trigger. to me. Ignore it. Whoever it is will go away. Don't seem to be going away. We'll see you then. Yeah. Agent Freeman, what are you doing here? Good news, Elise. The FBI is calling off Ms. Crane's protection. What? You see, Interpol believes that the drug cartel has called off its hit on Ms. Crane, so you are off the hook. Agent Freeman, what's going on? The FBI says you're no longer in danger. Really? That's wonderful. Yes, it is. Well, Luis has to go to Washington for debriefing. All right, fine. When do I have to go? Tonight. Tonight. Dumbledore, do me not to believe any word you said. That's a trap. Mm -hmm. Tabitha, you're so lucky to have a boy as loyal as you are. But what Tabitha needs right now is not loyalty. She needs courage. Courage? Yes. It's breaking her heart having to sell off her possessions. She needs you to be brave and do the right thing. She needs you to do what she doesn't have the nerve to do. What? Sell her memoirs for her. Why is Gwen there with Ethan? You know, I'm not surprised at all. I'm telling you, Teresa, you gotta play hard and mean if you wanna win. 
I mean, Gwen ain't playing fair, is she? No, you know, forget Gwen. She didn't kidnap Ethan. Ethan looks pretty happy to be there. He's just like all the rest of the men in the world, just stringing Teresa on. Look, Teresa, you just wait till you hear his side of the story, okay? Yes. I mean, there has to be an explanation. Ethan wouldn't lie to me. Gwen must have set this up somehow. That's exactly what I think she did. It's, this is horrible. Look what I'm up against. Gwen is using her and Ethan's friends and their history to get him back, and she's winning. I hate to say it, but it's not a level playing field. I mean, she has his background and both their families on her side. That's what I'm saying. How can I fight that? You can't. I mean, if Ethan weren't a crane, you would win him hands down, Teresa, but he is a crane. There's nothing you can do to change that. Julian Crane isn't Ethan's father. Chief Bennett is. Ethan is Sam Bennett's son. But tell them won't let Jimmy Gear memoirs published. Think of what Tabitha and Timmy could do with all that money. To me, I've thought of it. Then do the brave thing. Be a true friend. See, Tabitha's really just afraid of the rejection. All writers are like that. But you and I both know the book is to be an enormous success. But Tabitha locked the manuscript away. No problem. To me, grab it, and everything you've ever wanted will be yours. Oh, it's Tabitha. Do it, Timmy. Get Tabitha's memoirs published. Here. What's been going on while I was gone? Stop them! Let's go to the seascape and celebrate. We need some champagne. Oh, brilliant idea. Champagne sounds wonderful. You know, I I really should go back and check on Teresa to see how she's doing. Well, Gwen, you're coming, aren't you? A lot of the players and alums are going to be there. Oh, of course, I would love to see some of our old friends. Yeah, and Boomer's going to be there with some of the old fraternity brothers. Come on, you can see Teresa tomorrow. What do you say? Look, when I think about how far you've come, when you were determined against really big odds to make Ethan see that he loves you. And you did it. So don't give up on love now. Chad, will you stop butting into Teresa's life? You're forgetting she is in love with a crane. And so what? So, that means Ethan and Teresa can never be together. I mean, it'd be different if you were in love with someone else from town. You mean if, if he was a Bennett? Well, yeah. I mean, if Ethan was Chief Bennett's son, we wouldn't be having any of these problems. And there wouldn't be a Gwen Hotchkiss. She wouldn't look twice at Chief Bennett's son. Look, there's no point in talking about this, all right? Ethan is a crane, all right? That's that. But Gwen is not playing fair. And Teresa, I think it's time you started playing dirty yourself. Chad, will you stop this? Teresa can't fight this. Yes, I can, Whitney. There is a way. What are you, what are you talking about? What do you think? I have to do something. What? Teresa, where are you going? Wait, you wait, wait, just... wait, wait, wait. Just let her go. Let her go. She'll be okay. And besides, you and me got something to straighten out. 
can't be serious. Why tonight? Yeah, why not first thing tomorrow morning? Because the case cannot be officially closed until you've been debriefed, and the Bureau wants that done ASAP. Tonight. Well, they're just gonna have to wait. I don't see what's so urgent about it anyway if Sheridan's no longer in danger. Neither do I. Look, I'm just following orders, all right? Okay, it's clear to me that you two have become, um, a little closer. Yeah, well, that's none of the FBI's business. I've been doing my job. Luis has been a complete professional. I don't doubt that for one moment. But it would be to your extreme advantage to do as the FBI asks. They pull a lot of weight with the local authorities. He's right. You should go. It might help you make detective. Well, the hell with making detective. I'm not leaving you. I won't let you lose out on becoming a detective because of me. Please, just do as he says. I'm not going. We'll have other nights. This isn't just a once-in-a-lifetime deal, is it? No. Then go. We'll have endless nights. Our entire future together. Right. I'll go. Good. And of course, Ms. Crane will have a guard posted until this case is officially closed. Why? Why do I still need a bodyguard? It's just bureaucratic procedures. Nothing to worry about. Well, who's going to be assigned to her? Answer me, Timmy. What's been going on? Oh, nothing. Nothing at all. Did Tabitha get one money from the stuff she sold? Mm. Fifty miserable bucks. Fifty bucks? Yes. All my precious memories collected over the past three hundred years, and that antique dealer said they were junk. I've lost my powers. Now I'm going to lose my home. I'm going to make myself a pot of tea. Poor princess. Timmy can't stand to see her cry. Hello? HarperCollins Publishing, please. Collins, this is Timmy, and he has the book you'll want to publish. Whitney, somebody's been telling lies about me, and I want to know who. Why would someone lie about you, Jack? Well, that's what I'd like to know. So who told you that story? Chad, it really Whitney! Wasn't... My reputation's on the line, and a hell of a lot more. Whitney, I don't want you to ever, ever think that I'm a user. So you tell me who told you that lie about me and some girl named Tiffany? It was Kay. Kay? Why would, why would Kay say something like that? Well, maybe because it's not a lie, that's why. Well, no, believe me, Whitney, it is a lie. And, and I'm gonna find out just why Kay would say something like that. Whitney, I am not about to let a lie come between you and me. I have to think about this before I do anything. Can't afford to make any mistakes. And there it is. Absolute proof that Ethan is Chief Bennett's son. That is not a crime. <sighs> Mama forbid me to tell anyone about she said that if anyone found this, there would be terrible consequences. What if 
I show Ethan the proof that he's not a crane, he'll be mine forever. Should I tell him? Teresa? I can't believe I have to go to Washington tonight. Yeah, but the sooner you go, the sooner you can come back to me. <laughs> that does make it a little easier to go. Mm. You'd better go. Agent Freeman's waiting for you. Don't worry as much with Hank here. You shouldn't worry anyway if I'm out of danger. <laughs> You're right. Guess it's become a habit. <laughs> You know, you're pretty careless. That FBI agent almost caught you out there. Well, he didn't, did he? Now remember, I'll be here watching you. I want to report to Roger that I witnessed Sheridan's death. No, well, don't worry. Roger won't be disappointed. He'll want to read her obituary. Sheridan's death will be on the front page of every newspaper in the world. Mm -hmm. I'll be back as soon as I can, okay? This was a wonderful first date. I'll be waiting for the second one. Oh. <laughs> 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 <laughs>